Okay, guys, here we are on a recap just to show you how the um, interior of the house is looking. And I do have to finish the exterior. I am so not going to take up a new project until I finish this one. So here is the um, updates, like I said. So we're getting there. That's the table we've been making pretty much all throughout today, <clears throat> Saturday. And I got the paper clay on, whoops, and then I noticed that I stuck it with my nail. See how you see how much smoother it is. And then we're moving down here to the kitchen. Nope, we're going to the bathroom. Um, I'm showing you here where I have to lift that roof. I've got it all in. Um, I just need to touch up that bathroom, and I want to put, I love how it looks, but I want to put in some bright colors now, some some bring it to life, make it pop colors. I'm working on, well, here I'm showing you that the doors actually work, and then off camera I got them to actually close officially. They probably will not be opened again, but we do know that behind those doors is a homemade bathtub and a sink that doesn't look too bad. So there I'm showing you a piece of the tile wall that I, really need, I need to re-stick. And then I need to lift the ceiling there. And once I put the shingles, once I glue it and get the shingles on, you won't ever see that again. And there we are in the kitchen. Um, I've been saying all along I want to do like a Rachel Ray country kitchen. And I want to throw in some really bright greens like like iris, you know, you've seen Easter lily, green, Easter lily, yellow. Just want to bring it to life now. I want to put in some vases of flowers, like vases of lilies. Just really dress it up and make it comfortable in a bright room in the house. And then here, I actually got, well, I have finished that wall. At the time I videoed this, it wasn't quite done. I sanded down that light spot and finished it. So I want to make that far wall a painted wall and then the two side walls um, paneling. And I'm showing you here. I don't know if I want to do carpet or hardwood floor. I don't want it to be too dark. So I may go with carpet. Um, and then again, I may just go ahead and do hardwood floor. I've already cut the pieces. There they are. So um, I just don't know. I'm showing you here how it will look kind of, sort of, but it's dark. So in a, just a second, I am smart enough to finally turn on the internal light bulb and the external light bulb on my phone so you can actually see what would look like paneled. So feel free to leave comments on... Um, hardwood floor or carpeting you guys tell me I do want to make that the entertainment area um, I was thinking about putting a TV upstairs there's the table I finished today um, I don't know about the TV yet maybe there won't even be a TV maybe it's just gonna be a house I don't know honestly that I've ever put a TV in a house but so I think I'm going to cover the back of that stairwell. And I don't know if I'm going to put a banister with railings on it or not. But then we go, now we're going back to the table. And I do need to dress it up. I need to put the shingles on. And I've, oh, I'm moving the house here. I was like, what am I doing? So there you can see that I've actually been doing the siding. And I'm going to do concrete uh, concrete foundation and I'll show you the concrete foundation. I think that's going to be pretty cool too. And then I was saying I want to do maybe Asian colors or an Asian theme maybe but I want to do Roman shades. So I, I, I'm I just really don't know what I'm going to do with the living room. Leave some comments guys. There's the um, shutters and I have found all of my shutters. And somewhere I have the shutter connectors, the opening and closing pieces of the shutter. And I, I remember talking about them on a video, but I don't remember where I put them. So i got to find those. Got to finish that paneling. 
And I'm still thinking I might choose that carpet for the living room. What I'm going to wind up doing is cutting a piece and laying it down in there and just seeing how I feel about it. Um, and that would save a lot of time and trouble as far as um, putting in hardwood floor. That stuff takes forever. So I might do that because still I still have to do that whole um, wall you see there to the left. I still have to finish that. And then I'm going to make the forward wall that goes out, out to the front of the house a complementary color. So either that or that. Let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm thinking that might make it too dark. I, I just don't know. And I don't want... I might piece it all out and see how it looks but overall there we go that is how the Arthur is looking and I feel pretty good I think it's going to look great and once the final touches are on it we're there then we'll start the Lillip I can never say this word Lilliput or mm -hmm. Lilliput apple blossom it's, it's a big house. I mean, it's got not really a big house. It's a large house with lots of rooms. Let me put it that way. It has a ton of rooms in it. So that one will be fun when we get there. And I still have to finish the Arthur. I'm just not going to give up on the Arthur. Not going to do it. But in here, like I said, I keep focusing. Like, I know for sure what I'm going to do with that room. That room's pretty much done, but I do want to add some bright colors. That room's pretty much done, but I gotta put in some, I gotta put in the windows, and I gotta dress it up with some um, photos, some 